So on this one, no expansion. We'll just apply the rule. Uh, let's look at these individually, uh, letters, and then our constants as well. So first off, we've got this 8 divided by 2, or 8 over 2, which would be 4. Uh, then let's look at the S's right here. So we got S to the power of 12 divided by S to the power of 10, which is the same as S to the power of 12 minus 10. Because the 10 S's in the denominator are going to cancel out 10 of the S's in the numerator. So that would end up being S to the power of 2. So right now we've got 4S to the power of 2. Let's look at our T's. So right here I've got T to the power of 4 divided by T to the power of 4. Uh, no need to expand this. Some of us know that anything divided by itself is 1. So you may not need any further steps on this. But let's show the exponent rule on, on this one. So I have the 4 from the numerator right here subtracted by the 4 from the denominator. That gives us t to the power of 0. And uh, even though we haven't covered this today, anything to the power of 0, anything, is 1. So we could put times 1 right here, but we're, we're just not going to. All right. Um, small mathematical formalities. Then we've got u cubed divided by u. Oh, that's a u cubed divided by u. Um, now, the, the u in the denominator doesn't show the exponent, but it has one. It's one. Because it's one u. So, um, well, would we have three, uh, u to the power of 3 minus 1, which is u to the power of 2. So, u to the power of 2 right there. And we work with all of those separate parts. So that right there is our simplified answer.